what we are about to show you is how an engine with a low displacement can have a high output of power with very good efficiency. Even if you're using it in the city or a suburban setting, could still be efficient. The world's first variable compression ratio engine. This engine of low displacement, optimal consumption, and optimal performance. In this race that has been established for performance and efficiency, with gas prices climbing every day, Infiniti's VC Turbo engine uses an advanced multi-link system to raise or lower the height of the piston stroke. There is a phenomenon you might have heard of where the fuel detonates, not to be confused with combustion. Detonation is when the fuel ignites randomly and there are forces that appear not from controlled combustion, which in gasoline engines must be avoided at all costs. What brings about detonation is temperature on one hand and pressure on the other. And when those two combine over their threshold, boom, the fuel ignites and everything goes haywire. The performance of an engine is related to the amount of air and fuel I can insert into the engine. More energy, more power. Now let's define what compression ratio is. Is how many times I can compress the mixture in a thing called the combustion chamber. The piston has a determined stroke and when it reaches the top, there is a remnant volume. Well, how many times does that volume fit in the stroke of the piston? That is the compression ratio. 10 to one, eight to one, 12 to one. The smaller that combustion chamber is, the larger the compression ratio goes. If I introduce into the engine a very large mixture, this creates compression pressure. And although it's always there, we often mistake compression pressure with compression relation. They are two different things. If I put a lot of mass in the cylinder and squeeze it, I'll have a higher compression pressure. Let's go over that again. I have a determined compression ratio. I put in a little mixture and I get a certain compression, let's say X. I put a lot more mixture, I get a higher compression pressure. I can achieve low and high pressures with the same ratio. And if the pressure gets too high, it detonates. So the engineers over at Infinity said, let's make it so that when they press on the accelerator and introduce a lot of mixture, they get a lower compression ratio to avoid detonation and provide a boost of energy. And when I let off the gas and have low mixture in the cylinder, let's up the compression as much as we can, which causes combustion chamber to contract, bringing greater efficiency. I mean, this is fantastic. That means that by changing the position of the control shaft, the compression ratio can be converted without changing the piston stroke, keeping the compression pressure high, whether I'm going full throttle or slowly, and I have the motor running with an excellent efficiency. To have this, they created the variable compression engine that is the engine we are seeing. It is quite a marvel. I don't want to get into telling you the messes of cams and levers and systems that are made for all this to work. It's complicated. The levers and the balancing because all this must be balanced harmonically so the engine isn't rattling. That is, it's complex and expensive, but the idea is formidable. That the engine paired with a good turbo at full throttle will give you a great performance. And when I am quietly, calmly driving the engine, I get great fuel economy. It's almost the perfect engine. It's kind of expensive, but it's kind of perfect. Subscribe to our channel, Autotech TV. Technology, clear and simple.